Environmental rim lighting is rim lighting sort of created from the environment around you. It uses the reflection probe, or just like what you would see on metallic reflections on most shaders, to actually give you a rim lit edge. And you have control over the blurring, or how intense it is, or what actually shows up on you. Alright, let's get into it. So the first thing is just showing a basic example of what it looks like with default settings. And these are the settings I normally use but we'll go through the rest of the settings here. So the first thing in the shader is the mask, but we're actually going to save that to or we're going to save the mask until last because it helps to understand what's actually in the settings before we start masking them. So the first setting is blurring and that's just going to be how blurred your reflection is. So by default it's going to be 0.75 which is blurry enough to not really know but still take in the color so you don't know what you're seeing but you're sort of taking in the color and getting a soft edge. If you set the blur to zero you're gonna start clearly seeing things that you're reflecting like the sky, the line in the sky right here. So by default that's at 0.75 but I'll leave it at zero for this example. Next up we have the rim width and that is just how wide it is. So I'll leave this pretty high for this example. You don't really want to have that super high in most cases because it's probably going to look weird. I usually like to keep it as a soft rim. I basically never use these settings, but I'll show you what they do. The rim sharpness just sharpens the edge. So you can use your rim width to make it bigger and smaller, and then rim sharpness to make the edge softer or harder. Next up is probably the most complicated thing in the shader, the or not in the shader, but in the section, is the min brightness threshold. What this does is basically create a threshold for when things can be applied to you. So if it's at zero, anything above zero brightness will apply, and you'll see sort of a global rim light at all times. If you create the or if you set the min brightness threshold higher so say i set this at like 0.2 only things brighter than 0.2 will show up so you're only really seeing this white part in the sky and if you blur that you kind of you're not seeing very much but this is good if you say you spend a lot of time in worlds that have um like emissive like at the void club or stuff like that things that have like emissive areas that emission will actually light you up if you increase this threshold. So if you only want to be lit up by things that are actually glowing, you could, for example, set this at 1, and then bright things in the environment will actually light you up. As long as, as, long as the reflection probe's been properly baked, which I do not guarantee on many maps. Intensity is just how intense the effect is. Let me select the correct one. So if I set intensity to 1, it's going to be fully visible, and if I set it to 0, it's going to fade out. And don't confuse this with the threshold. The threshold does not modify intensity. It doesn't change how bright this stuff is. It just changes the brightness required to show up in your reflection. And last but not least is the mask. So the mask is pretty simple. White things show up and black things do not. So if you draw white, you're gonna see the reflection probe, and if you draw black, you're not gonna see anything. This is just a black and white polka dotted texture, and if I change that to, say, this triangle one, you're gonna see that the white triangles are showing up and the black is not at all. You can make that look however you want. All right, that covers environmental rim lighting. If you have any questions about this or anything else in the shader, there is a link to the Discord below, please ask questions there. Avoid asking questions in the YouTube comments because it's pretty hard to answer technical questions there. Thanks for watching, hope you learned something.